Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Book Review. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. It's Friday. Yep, it's Friday. And typically on a Friday, what I do is I try to review a magic book for you because I love magic books. And I would love to use my platform to get other people fired up about magic books as well. If you're serious about magic and turning this hobby into a career or just improving your skill level from here to here, I would highly recommend building a magic library. Today, I wanna to look at Wandcraft from Judge Gary Brown and Lawrence Haas. Now, Judge Gary Brown is a judge. He's a practicing judge out in New York. This book is published by the good people down at Theory and Art of Magic. Of course, Wandcraft is about magic wands. It's about magic wands. This is mine, uh, my magic wand. It's a little cheapo, cheapo plastic uh, toy, really. I got this for a couple of bucks at my favorite uh, Murphy's Magic Retailer, favorite place that I buy magic tricks from. And it's standard, right? Black with white tips. And this is what we think of typically when we think of a magic wand. And of course the classic magic wand also conjures up uh, pictures of top hats and capes and magicians wearing monocles and mustaches and saying abracadabra. And we think that this apparatus, this symbol is part of a bygone era. And you're probably thinking, I would never use a magic wand. It's just not relevant in this day and age. And to that I'd say, Lengardium Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Yeah, Harry Potter. Harry Potter and even other films like Lord of the Rings have brought back the magic wand in perhaps a different way, a younger way, a hipper way, maybe even a more relevant way. Something that looks more like this, which would be a wand maybe the Celts would use or a Druid. There's even maybe a little bit of that even in the lightsaber that we see in Star Wars. Certainly it's a shortened wand that emits light that wields power. So old school or new school, the magic wand is a primary symbol for our art form. Plus you will occasionally every now and then see a magician use a magic wand. Now it might not be the classic version, it might even just be a little silver or gold stick that you uh, see even in a cups and ball routine, but make no mistake, that is a wand. So what Gary Brown has decided to do is put together a little overview, right? A little book that introduces you or reintroduces you to the magic wand, its history, and why this is such a classic prop. Wandcraft is the perfect companion to the magic wand. Inside, you have tricks, history, and several tutorials to even help you build one for yourself. What else is inside? You're going to get seven chapters, including history, relevance, and influence. Nice, large, easy to see black and white photographs, a beautiful artistic layout, six fully scripted tricks that use a magic wand, plus complete instructions on how to build five types of magic wands from the very simple giveaway that you could hand out at kids' birthday parties to a beautiful art piece that you would be proud to flourish. And the book's not big. It's 90 pages long. It was an easy read. Uh, I had it by my bedside and I think I completed it in like two days. So it's, it's very easy to read. Overall, uh, voice wise, Gary Brown has a nice reading voice, very easy to listen to, very easy to follow. Uh, the book is a beautiful hardback with colorful dust jacket. It's going to be a nice addition to your magic library or coffee table. Again, that's Wandcraft, Judge, Gary Brown, and Lawrence Haas. I believe it's 30 bucks at your favorite Murphy's Magic retailer. I want to thank Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this book so that I can do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it wherever quality magic books are sold. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, and before I go, I just want to let you know that if you're looking for a friendly community made up of professional and amateur magicians, just like yourself, be sure to check out the Magicians Forum at themagiciansforum.com. The Magicians Forum is helpful, clean, and you'll be able to ask questions and receive advice from people who know what they're talking about. Come see where masters like Harry Lorraine and Pop Hayden hang out. Oh, and of course, I'm there too. Looking forward to seeing you. Have a great week.